All right, folks, we back outside the levees. As you can tell, we're definitely not inside the levees. This is where I'm staying in a houseboat in the Atchafalaya Basin here in Louisiana. And this is gonna be a really special video. I'm here at the Clinton Poston Hunting Club in the basin. This is a deer hunting club that uses dogs to hunt the deer. Deer hunting with dogs is a long-standing tradition for this club. They've actually been doing it almost 50 years back here in the basin. So the Chafalaya Basin is actually a great place to deer hunt with dogs. You've got sprawling, open swamplands that those deer live in, travel in, plenty of space for the dogs to get out and run and do their thing. Just in the area that we're in today, we know of at least 10 to 12 other clubs that also hunt deer with dogs. Very much a tradition where we are today. And I can't wait to show y'all some of the awesome things they do at this club. Yeah, the levee. <laughs> Where'd you find your boat? There he is. <laughs> All right, y'all know it's deer camp. So y'all know we're gonna be eating good. Right now we got some chicken wings going on the open fire. Everything cooked on the open fire is good, especially at deer camp. You know it's gonna be good. Henry, what's oh. happening? <laughs> oh. Come on, bro. All right, how about that for some camp life, huh? Chicken wings over the fire. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> Kids are playing. Man, life is good here in the Chafalaya Basin. And we haven't even started hunting yet. We're gonna do our first deer hunt in the morning. We got the crew hanging out. Y'all wish us luck. Oh my goodness. That's what it's all about right there, y'all. going to kill a big buck right now. But, you know, uh, trying to get the hunt organized, trying to get our stand row out so we can uh, drive the dogs, uh, turn the dogs out, take us a little while to get the stand row out because we walk in. After that, we kick the dogs out the boat and drive them through and hopefully we dump something and run over our standers. All right, y'all, so we're going to have two sets of hunters. We're going to have the stand row here. We're dropping them off, and then we're going to go a little bit further down, and they're going to put out dogs, and you'll have drivers behind the dogs. And the drivers are going to walk with the dogs. Now, the drivers kind of call the dogs back and forth throughout the hunt to search for deer, and the dogs are trying to push the deer to the stand row. I'm going to hang out with Mr. Charlie today because I think he's got the horseshoe. Let's hope somebody on this hunt gets a deer today. We need to eat some deer meat, right? Oh, uh, we sitting here waiting on a deer for the dogs to run a deer through to us. Just they ain't started driving yet. But you ought to hear some dogs in a little bit, hopefully. And we might see a nice buck, hopefully. It's a sit and wait. They're not that far away. They starting over there on that um, bull line. We over here off the Hano line over here. Us. So we're just waiting for the dogs to to hit to jump jump up, yeah. Yeah. To jump something. That's what them drivers are doing, getting them in there to start picking up. Nate, that dog's still running, I ain't got ears on no more. Negative. Ten four. Woo! She come past me about a hundred yards out the hunt. I haven't got eyes on it, but she had to straight up the bed. Woo! 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 All right, y'all, the hunt has officially begun. 
we hear the hunters uh, hooping the dogs. That's, you know, where, the, like I said, they, the, so the hunters are holler. And what they're trying to do is call the dogs to them. But then once the dogs get to you, you quit hollering and let another hunter call them back. So you're kind of working, you're zigzagging your dogs throughout the hunt. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going on right here. We haven't heard any dogs yet. The dogs will typically not uh, start making any noise until they, they pick up a scent or until they jump a deer. So we're going to wait not so patiently here. <laughs> Uh, man, I just I haven't done this in so long. My anticipation's so high. Hey, buddy. Uh -uh. Get on. Get. Ah, whoop, whoop. Get on out of here. Come and take it, Jeff. Come and take it. It's not a death. It's not a death. It's a buck. Big buck? Yeah, that one with that horn on one side. All right, folks, so well, that's going to wrap up the morning hunt. Uh, this is the first morning, Saturday morning. Usually everyone comes in on a Friday evening. Obviously, we had the good dinner over the fire. This is the Saturday morning hunt. We did jump at least one deer that we heard the dogs chase. Uh, no one shot it. Sounds like the deer was able to slip through past everyone and, and get going on. Um, so now is the part of the hunt where we all head back. We're going to try to collect some dogs here. Well, we'll collect everybody out the stand row. Nobody leaves the stand row until the guy that put them out actually picks them all up one by one. And now we'll pick them up, regroup, collect the dogs, probably regroup, make another hunt, or uh, start cooking and uh, the camaraderie start, you know? Yep. and I'm from Biosaw, Louisiana. Well, I hunted with my uncle all the time, Clinton Poston all the time, and we run dogs. That's how I got into it. Ain't too many of us do it no more, but just a handful of us now, you know. But we take care of our animals. That's one thing I can say. I was practically born and raised out here, really, you know, so we started out when we first come in here, we used to have to walk in here, you know, 
it was it was hard hunting back then. We had a long walk in there, and I've been, we've been hunting since I was a kid right here. I, I enjoy it. I, I don't have to ever have to kill another deer in my lifetime, me. And it ain't that I can't kill them. I just, I like to hear the dogs run. Come out here to get rid of all these phones and stuff and just enjoy it, enjoy nature. Yeah, because this, this is part of a heritage, man. This, you know, this has been going on for years and years and years, you know. Uh, my name's Russell McKigney. I am actually from uh, Springfield, Louisiana. But I was brought down here with my uncle and Charles. Started hunting down here in the early 90s. Been hunting here ever since. But the basin itself is different. It's, it's uh, you don't have a lot of people back here that you see all the time. You get away from society altogether. I mean, it's a sportsman's paradise. There's great fishing and there's great hunting down here. I don't know if there's a lot of misconception of it, but I think there's a lot of people don't understand the work that goes into dog hunting. Uh, you raise and you feed dogs all year just to turn loose six weeks out the year. The camaraderies down here are great. Uh, it's a lot of good people that I hunt with in this club. Uh, a lot of them are kin to. A lot of people I've met down here through the years. Uh, it's, it's a great tradition that doesn't need to go away. I, I've seen a lot of kids come out here and and they really love it. I, I don't know, it's just a lot of great stuff that happens down here in the basin that, that I enjoy. Who's the best shrimp peeler in this line? Me, me. Everybody knows it's me. <laughs> Everybody knows you're the most, you're, you're the best shrimp eater. Thank you, Brandon. That's that's the category I want. I want to be the best shrimp eater. I'd rather so Charlie, be the what we got going on tonight? What's what's they happening? They're cooking egg drop shrimp stew. Look, Cam. <laughs> what they cooking, Cam? Come here, Cam. Get over here with me. Come over here. Oh, she don't Look, like to on. be on Cam. Yeah, me and her she, both gonna get on Cam. Come on, Look, Cam. Come on, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Where you going, Cam? All right, folks, y'all may have heard that song, Louisiana Saturday Night. I believe it was written about something just like this, where you're hanging out on the front porch in a place like the Chafalaya Basin, surrounded by swamp and cypress trees and everything good in the world. We got the kids peeling the shrimp. There's going to be a special shrimp stew tonight, an egg drop shrimp stew. I don't know. We're going to have to see. I'm going to, I'm going to, give, it, I'm going to give it an honest shot. I don't know if it's gonna be good, I'm gonna just give it an honest shot. <laughs> yeah, what we got going on here, man? We are making a shrimp egg drop stew. Pretty much just a shrimp stew, and we drop eggs in later. Exactly, some portion uh, green on your smoke shot. Not, not cold. Get two cars, right? Uh, what we got? This is some uh, Savoy's pre made roof. Yeah, right. I'm cheap. Right. I'm cheap. 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 i Seafood stock, shrimp stock. All right, tell them what we're doing. What's the money? Got ten bucks. Where's it at? Right, right here. Why is he getting ten bucks? Putting his finger in a mouse trap. All right. No, you never said which one. No, you never said answer. which one. Oh, like a champ! <laughs> Take that money, boy. Hey, I'll go. I'll take, I'll take how, how you gonna play cards? <laughs> how you gonna play cards? I'll go for my $10 back. All right. I get my, my whole $10 back. Yeah, yeah. Whole ten. Yeah. Your whole $10. Whole 10. 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 Just drop it in there. Just drop it in there. Just go in there. Just go. 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 Do it, baby. Do it. Uncle Raymond. All right, what we got there? We got some fresh Lake Pontchartrain train for us. As 
you can see, we're going to make it. We may not have got a deer, but we got some egg drop shrimp stew. Life is good, and we got another hunt in the morning. All right, y'all, there it is. Shrimp stew. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, if you're wondering why we're eating such a calorie ridden meal, it's because of all the hard deer hunting we have to do in the morning. So, the only thing left to do is to finish this meal and get some good sleep. We'll see y'all in the morning. Everybody's up, heading out on the hunt. I'm actually gonna hunt a little bit this morning myself. I'm heading out to a spot right now. The boats are going, they're getting dogs loaded up. And we're gonna see if we can get something down. All right, Mr. Russell and them wasn't joking with y'all when they said they take good care of their animals. You see, this dog hunted hard, it gets a pork chop. All right, folks, well, as much as I don't want to, it's time to go home. We had an amazing weekend at the camp. We hope y'all got to see a little bit about how deer hunting with dogs goes down in the Chafalaya Basin. It's a great long-standing tradition that we hope to keep going for many years to come. Shout out to the Chafalaya National Heritage Area. We appreciate y'all sponsoring the video. Go check them out if you can. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time.